About 15, about 15 years ago, uh, my mother-in-law, Roseanne's mother, my wife's mother, uh, was dying of cancer. Um, she was sickly and she had gone to the hospital and the hospital had done everything they could for her. There was nothing that could be done. As a result, we put her up in my house and we took care of her for her last days until she finally passed on. Uh, Roseanne, being in Nebraska, not able to come and attend to her mother, was so grateful that my wife and I were able to um, give her mother those um, pleasant times as best as possible during those last days. She was so grateful that she promised that should I ever need a kidney, we knew I had kidney disease at the time, should I ever need a kidney, she would definitely be the first one to step up, volunteer, and see if in fact she could uh, donate a kidney. When she said that, what did you think? Did you even think about it? It, it was so far in the past, um, the kidney disease had not developed uh, yet. Um, at that time, I had no idea that I would ever need a kidney. So it was just something, yeah, okay, Roseanne, that's, that's fine. Thanks very much. And it really meant nothing to me. Uh, the, um, <clears throat> the amazing thing is, though, that she remembered that conversation, much more so than I did. And she kept her word. And uh, 15 years later now, she came forward, the first to come forward, to volunteer to, if possible, donate her kidney. At what point did you start talking to her about the realism, realistic uh, aspect that you might need to her kidney. When, when did that? The kidney has been failing slowly over an extended period of time, 10, 12 years now. So we knew eventually I would have to go on dialysis or eventually get a kidney. Um, it wasn't until the last, oh, I would say nine months that we knew that the kidney was finally failing um, to the point where dialysis was imminent. We would have to either get a transplant or be on dialysis. It was a matter of time. At that point, we let the world know, our family and friends, that, uh, that this was about to happen. And with no hesitation, Roseanne came forward, wanted to be the first to uh, volunteer to be tested to see if she could, in fact, donate that kidney. There were others that came forward, my wife, my best friend, a couple of other relatives. Uh, and the miracle related to the promise from many years ago was that Roseanne was the only one that actually matched sufficient enough to be able to be a donor. And she's gone through with it now, and how does that make you feel? Uh, we lived a thousand miles apart, and we've, we've done so for the past 25 years. So although she's my sister-in-law, we haven't been as close as other family members could be because of the distance. Now she is more close to me and, and will be for the rest of our lives than any relative ever could be. She's given me something that no other person give. Uh, we are actually blood relatives, if you will, uh, and that, that, that means a lot. I know it means a lot to her, and it certainly means a lot to me.